In this video, I wanna to talk to you about the projects that you need to create on your portfolio and your GitHub profile page. It's really important that you don't just keep creating the same type of project over and over again. I really want you to stand out. So of course, create your CRUD project. I think that's really important. Whatever it is, job board, blog posts, it's important that you do that. But then don't just do a CRUD project again with different form fields and then again and again. You wanna show your different skills that you can do. So once you've created that CRUD project, try and do something different. Try and make it maybe real time. So if you try and do an update, maybe updates for everyone who's looking at that page in real time, right? Make it different. You could do it on that same project. You could maybe make a different project. I think that'd be better to do a different project because then you've got a project that focuses on CRUD and then you've got a project that has got CRUD, but then now it's got the real time aspect. Therefore, you could call it like a real time project and you could make it really obvious in the, in the description, in the readme and so forth. The next thing you probably wanna do on one of your projects no matter what it is, have automated testing. Maybe on your CRUD project, I think that's quite a standard project, you're right? Create, read, update, delete, just to clarify what CRUD means, but have some automated testing. If it's front end, use Cypress. If it's back end, use something like Panctum JS, just to make sure you have those tests. And remember, don't just test the happy paths, test the sad paths. And what I mean by that is the boundary conditions. Does it break? If you put something bad in the URL, do you get a 404? If you send some bad parameters through on the front end or the back end, whatever it is, do you get a 400? Do you get the right status codes? Those are important to test those things because it's showing that you understand how the mechanics of a project should work with making sure that you send the right status codes back when something goes wrong, but you also got automated tests running to check these boundary conditions. When someone refactors something, makes a contribution, makes some changes, they're still confident and you're still confident that it still works across the entire project. Imagine having like logging that's like really quite central. And if you change it, you're not gonna go through and test all the other endpoints or all the other pages to make sure it hasn't affected anything anywhere else. But if you have automated tests, it will just test everything for you within a few seconds and it's pretty awesome. It looks super professional. The next thing all you wanna do is have some GitHub Actions. So if you've got a linter, run it on GitHub Actions. You can do that with a few lines of YAML. If you've got automated testing, make sure you run it on GitHub Actions. Every time a change is made, these automated tests run. But I think you should have these in different projects. So maybe your first project is gonna be the CRUD project, and then the second project is gonna have maybe real time or automated testing, or whichever one you pick you wanna do next, then have a third project and it will show your journey. It will show that you are getting better every time. And yes, you might use CRUD on the first project and CRUD on the second project and CRUD on the third project, but I bet you CRUD on the fifth project is gonna be so much better than your first project. Yes, it's gonna have additional stuff with it that we just spoke about but it'll still be so much better you'll think of how to keep things dry and what i mean by dry is don't repeat yourself you'll think about how to abstract things out of the function of the class or whatever language technology paradigm framework library you're using you know what I mean. And then last but not least, make sure you deploy it out. It's really important that you deploy your project. I see lots of people being able to create projects locally, but they don't understand the deployment. I'm not saying you have to become a DevOps or Ops expert, but I'm just saying have an appreciation. So if you can deploy it to AWS, DigitalOcean, uh, Heroku, Vercel, any of those places, use a GitHub action to do that. Yes, some of these platforms have things where you can automatically kind of pick up the change from your GitHub repo and deploy it out. But if you can, do it by a GitHub action. Again, it shows that you have an appreciation for the trigger event on CI and C then CD, and then you're deploying it out using push technologies. So I think that's quite important. Make sure you try and have a look at that. You might not start with that, but you could move to that later on. Let me know in the comments below what you think are really good projects to build. Actually, one last tip, try and do clones of existing projects. I don't mean Git clone. I mean, try and replicate a project like Netflix, Twitter. Yes, these projects are massive, but if you could do a clone of them that's a cut down, simplified version, then people will get to see that you have an appreciation for these things. So on Netflix, it could be suggestions. On Twitter, it could be real time. So try and do some sort of known project then people can relate to a little bit more and you'll stand out. Okay, that's enough for this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe below if you haven't already, and come and join our Discord, link in the description below, so we can chat between live streams and video. Oops, sorry, Mike. I'll see you in Discord.